everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have been here before today you guys we're going to be doing another massage video and today is a really 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 highly requested video and it's all about the nose this is the question i get so much of uh, in the comment section how to slim down my nose how to make my nose smaller how to make the tip of the nose smaller pointier how to reduce the size of the nostrils etc and let's just get one thing straight from the beginning um, the bone structure of your face is set in stone that is what you have and unless you have plastic surgeries uh, or you have injections there is some things we can do uh, but you cannot completely change the shape of your nose however um, our nose is consists of bone and then we have this bit uh, right here that is movable it is um, also adjustable in a way and the way that we work with our nose is by working with fluids and working with muscles with age and with time our nose droops down um, because we tend to either overuse the muscles here and also there is a lot of fluid buildup that happens in our nose especially at the tip of our nose so it tends to either droop down and become thin and droopy forward or it spreads like this so we get wider nostrils and a flatter bigger nose which is a completely normal as this is not set in stone this bit here so this this can change over time and with age hence there is something we can do and that's what we're going to be working with today we're going to be working with draining the fluid out um, anything that we don't need and also toning the muscles around that area but it would like with everything else you have to stick to it you have to dedicate your time to it so first of all we are going to go straight into some lymphatic drainage uh, because we always want to depuff our face we want to drain our toxins and excess fluid in our skin and it can add that sort of plump look to the areas where we don't necessarily want them especially around our sinuses around our eyes and around the nose so that will help us to give our nose is slim so i'm gonna take my knuckles i'm just oiling my knuckles and go in circular motion around the neck and you can also do it around the chest this is just a very pleasant move in general and then a few sweeps from under the ears down towards the collarbone you can even go a little bit at the back of your neck to relax the muscles, release any tension. And from there, let's take our ring finger and we will start with circular movements from either side of the nostrils towards the tear duct. So we are draining any excess fluid into the tear duct because we don't want that buildup of fluids we want them to be draining well but because our lymphatic system doesn't have a pump we need to give it a bit of a helping hand and the reason why we use a ring finger because um, naturally the ring finger has a little bit less pressure than for example the first finger and we don't need to apply a lot of pressure to move the lymph it's quite superficial let's go for one more and release it and then working a little bit into the bridge of the nose so if you want to achieve a slimmer look in this area slide your ring finger up and up towards the brow so we're going in a lifting motion also getting a little bit into that nasal labia fold which is right here And then you can also go a little bit further around the brow and go to the temple. So really following the natural structure of your nose, but give it a little bit of kind of slimming around here.
Okay, let's work a little bit into the tip of the nose and how wide it is here. So we're just going to press and then release it forward. So releasing it forward. So I'm just using two first fingers. We will do a couple of exercises as well, not just a massage. This is really good as well if you suffer from sinuses, congestions or allergies. And then again, working a little bit more into the tip of the nose, starting in the middle of the nose, press it together and then out. So thin and out. So gentle pressure here. Getting in those nasal labial folds as well, turning them out, always in a lifting upwards motion. And let's do last two. And release. When the muscle shortens, it lifts our nostrils a little bit and also we get the buildup of the lymph fluids at the tip of our nose and they have nowhere to go so they droop and um, so that's why it is really good to do lymphatic drainage um, i'm also going to show you another thing you can do with spoons i actually have a whole video using spoons for a facial massage on my channel and i cannot recommend it enough a lot of people really enjoy it you use hot and cold spoons for a full face drainage um, so just um normal spoons any spoons and then you hold them against your nose go towards your ears and then all the way down so you need oil for this so don't forget to apply or reapply oil if you need to so hold here and then draining out and down out and down Let's do two more. And let's put the spoons down. A little bit more drainage of the, um, the fluids from the nose. You can just massage the bridge of your nose. More pressure applying up rather than down. The down is more of just a small little light slide. So we definitely can work a lot with the tip of the nose, uh, but as far as the bridge of the nose and the structure of it here goes, there is little we can do, but if you're draining the fluids and you tend to have that built up here, um, then it will definitely give you a slimmer look. We're going to work with the horizontal muscle of the nose, which uh, when it weakens, it drops our tip of the nose and gives it that kind of droopy look. So we're going to place a finger under the tip of the nose, lift it up, and then using the muscles of the nose, we're going to try and press the finger down without pressing, without moving the finger itself. If this is really challenging and you're not um, feeling it or can't get a hang of it, try to do the same, but then make an O shape with your mouth and open your mouth like that and try to pull it that way. So pick your option and let's do a couple more. Well done. And then the last couple of things, if you want to make the um, this kind of, we call them little wings of the nose smaller, if you have them quite wide, uh, we're going to do an exercise inhaling and trying to bring the nostrils together. And again, keep doing it. <laughs> While you're doing it, you're getting deeper nasal labial folds or um, more kind of tension here. You can just support your skin here and keep doing it. 
There we go. And release. That is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know how you get on. And if you continue with it or dedicate your time to it, if you have seen changes, and I can promise you, you will, uh, just stick to it. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. I post videos every week, different massages every week, different workouts every week. And um, let me know how you're doing. If there's anything new with you thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys very soon in my next video bye